Hello friends, this video on Heron's formula part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more example. Samya, she has a piece of land which is the same for Rombus. Rombus means all sides are same. She wants her one daughter and one son to work on the land and produce different crops. So she divided the land into two equal parts. These two are equal parts. The perimeter of the land is given 400 meter and if the perimeter is 400 meter the each side will be 100 meter because each sides are equal. Correct? So let's uh, each side be A, A plus A plus A is uh, 200, A comes out to be 100 meter. Okay? And dino is 160 meter, we define the area of each of this. So we know a triangle, there is a triangle A, B, D, we have to find the area of this triangle A, B, D or B, D, C, so the area is same. So we define it, suppose we will find the area of triangle A, B, D. So for this we define S, sum of the sides divided by 2. So one side is 100, other side is 100, other side is 160. We divide by 2, unit is meter, 260, 360 by 2, that is 180 meter is the value of s that is the perimeter so area using Heron's formula will be root of s minus a s minus b s minus c what is the value of s 180 meter s minus a that is 180 minus 100 s minus b 180 minus 100 s minus c 180 minus 160 unit will be meter square you solve this, you get 4A00 meter square. That is the area of each of these triangle plot. Okay? She wanted two of her kids to cultivate in these two particular areas. So they divided the whole land into two equal parts. And we had to find the area of each of the equal part. We saw that each of the equal parts of the triangle and all the sides were given. So we just applied Herald's formula to find the area of these triangles. A park is in the shape of a quadrilateral ABCD, where angle C is 90, this looks 90, so let this be C, uh, let this be ABCD, this is 90, yeah. C is 90, AB is 9 meter, BC is 12, okay, CD is 5, and And AD is 8. So how much area does it occupy? So you have to find this. See, what we can do is this is 90 degree given, so we can actually break in this fashion. Why join AB work? Because since it is given C as 90 degree, we can actually find DB. I join D and B using Pythagoras theorem. Finding area of this triangle is easy. So let's find area of uh, DCB is what? We need to find area of the whole quadrilateral. That will be nothing but area of DCB plus area of ABD. That will be 1 by 2 into base into height. Base is given 5, height is given 12. Right? So you solve this, what you get 12 into 5 60 by 2, that is 30. It is in meters, so it plus meters square. Now you define area of A, B, B, the other one. So for this first we have to find DB. So DB will be what? Root of BC square plus CB square. So DB is equal to root BC square plus CB square. So what is the value of BC? Uh, BC is uh, 12 and CB is 5, 12 square plus 5 square. That is 144 plus 25, that is root of 169, that is 13 and the unit are in meters, so it will be meter. So dB is 13 meter. So once we have all the sides of this triangle dCB, I can easily find the area of this triangle, uh, sorry, A, A, B, D, I can easily find the area of this triangle A, B, D. So for triangle A, B, D, what is the value of S? Sum of all sides divided by 2, that is 13 plus 9 plus 8 by 2. That is nothing but 15 
meter. What is the area? Root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C as per Heron's formula and apply the value of S is 15 into 15 minus A, A is what? 13. 15 minus second side 99 and third side 8. You solve this, you get 15 into 2 into 6 into 7. Correct. You solve this, you get the value of uh, 6 root 35 uh, meter square, and that is nothing but approximately 35.5 meter square. So the area of the part will be 30 meter square area of this, and area of this is 30 5.5 meter square. So you add both the area, right? So area of part is what? You add both the area that is 30 meter square plus 35.5 meter square that is nothing but 65.5 meter square okay so simple question we have to find the area of a quadrilateral ABCD where uh, all these sides elements let's put the values let this be A B C and D where AB is 3 BC is 4 CD is 4, DA is 5, and AC is also 5. So we can actually find the area of quadrilateral hall. We can find the area of this triangle ADC and we can find the area of this triangle ABC and we can just add them. Pretty easy. All the sides are been given, you can actually find. Right? So area of triangle if you want to find ABC. So in this case, your uh, this area ABC. We can find first find the value of S that is 5 plus 4 plus 3. That is 5 plus 4 plus 3 by 2 centimeter. That is 5 plus 4, 9 plus 3, 12 by 2 that is 6 centimeter. And we can find the area pretty easily. That is root of S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Put the values here. 6 into 6 minus 5. 6 minus 4, 6 minus 3. Solve it. 6 into 3 into 2 into 1, that is 6 centimeters square. So you found the area of ABC. Now, if you want to find the triangle ABC area, this one, for this you have to find S, 5 plus 4 plus 5 by 2, 5 plus 4 plus 5 by 2, that is 14 by 2, that is 7 centimeter. So area is nothing but same thing, Heron's formula S, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, root. Let's put the values here 7, 7 minus 5, the first side, 7 minus 4, and again 7 minus 5. So you solve this, solve the whole thing, what you get is uh, 2 root 21, that is almost 9.166 centimeters square. So area of one triangle is this one is 6 cm square and this one is 9.166 cm square. Total area will be to add both the area. That is 9.11 plus 6, that is 15.16 cm square. Okay. That will be the area. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.